So, uh, if there's something that I certainly don't think I can exemplify uh, enough on this program is that I enjoy video games, and I also enjoy videos and content about video games. So I watch uh, quite a bit of YouTube, as I mentioned in the first episode um, of this show, and uh, something that people have been making quite a few videos about in recent months is uh, the gaming platform that I neglected to mention when I was talking about my favorite one, uh, that being Google Stadia. So I talked a bit about, I just kind of think of it as the Nintendo platform, because they never really have a consistent name, uh, <laughs> um, but they're all obviously made by the same company, and then you have PlayStation and Xbox, but, um, you know, when I was talking about, like, gaming platforms and the ones that I like, I completely forgot to mention Stadia, and, well, let's be real, there's a pretty obvious reason why. So, I guess it would be important to give a little bit, little, bleh, a little bit of background. Uh, Google Stadia is Google's gaming platform, and uh, unlike other platforms where you have a dedicated piece of hardware, uh, be it a console or a handheld device, or of course your personal computer, all you need for Stadia is a wireless controller. Okay, well, you need a controller and one of the many pieces of hardware that your game gets streamed to. Uh, so you can use a smartphone, a Chromecast Ultra, or a PC with Google Chrome on it to play your game. But the thing about the way Stadia works is that you're not really playing the game on your device. Um, because Stadia is one of the first cloud gaming platforms, which immediately gets me into one of the problems that people have with it and why I do not plan in uh, buying into it. So games on Google Stadia cost a uh, full price. But the problem here... Um, and actually, I guess this problem in particular covers a couple of larger problems of the service. Um, Google Stadia has games that are mostly from a, you know, like one or two years ago. Um, and some of those games, like, uh, what's a, uh, a good example would be Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Um, that's a game that if you just type it into Google here, um, it'll go for 10 to 20 bucks online um, for a physical copy on the PS4 or uh, the Nintendo Switch. Now on Stadia, it goes for $50 with no additional content. Now I bring up physical copy in particular um, when talking about uh, Xenoverse 2 for two reasons. First off, to be fair, Digital copy on the Switch is also $50, and a digital copy on the PlayStation 4 is $60, so it's not really like the other platforms are doing any better on their digital storefronts, but considering that you can obtain a copy of the game that you can really choose to do whatever you want with after the fact, you could sell it, you could keep it, you could uh, donate it to someone, you could lend it to a friend... Um, or really do uh, anything else to it for 40 to $50 fewer, getting a copy on Stadia is a terrible investment because you lose in multiple aspects. So obviously I talked about paying in full price. Um, and then the second aspect is that if you don't like whatever game you get on it, you're stuck with it. It, it, it's yours forever. You can't do anything with it. Um, and that really sucks, because if you don't like it, you should be able to get your money back. If you want to give it to someone, you should be able to do that. But obviously on Stadia, you're just stuck with the game. Um, and, you know, the fact that it's a streaming platform, too, means you don't even really get a copy of the game, which fortunately means you have very fast download times, because they're not really download times, it's just you, pay, you get instant access to the game, um, but 
you don't really have the games. You can't do anything with it. Um, and then another aspect that, that is tied into uh, one of the problems that people seem to be having with Stadia in general is that Google is known for abandoning services if they don't become obscenely popular right away. I mean, there is quite literally a website called killedbygoogle.com that includes nearly 200 Google products killed. And suffice it to say, um, Stadia sales are not super high. Uh, now, if you go on to... Like, if you have an Android device, you can go onto the Google Play Store, and it has a very cryptic 100,000-plus downloads on the Google Play Store, which sounds like a lot. But just for the sake of comparison, and I know this isn't necessarily an Apple's Apple's comparison, but you're going to see the idea, Google Docs has 500 million-plus downloads. So... Stadia is not exactly selling as many units as Google would probably like it to. Um, it's also very possible that people who've already sunk the 130 some dollars into the system, uh, plus however many, however much money they've spent on games, are going to see that all go away if this doesn't end up being a successful platform. It's just, it's just going to be gone. And that's, uh, that's what I mean. Since it's, this is a cloud gaming platform, any games that you are buying, you're not really buying. Um, and while that means you will be able to play the game right away, all you're really doing is being allowed access to the game from Stadia's servers. But if Google kills Stadia and adds it to the graveyard of 200 plus products that are already gone, um, then all that money that you've spent is gone. Because, well, at least as far as I've seen here, right, Google has not said what they would do with games if Stadia were to be discontinued. But to me, so obviously the fact that we have assumptions about what Google would do, like, oh, maybe they'll all be gone. Or maybe we'll be able to download them after the fact, and they'll be ours somehow. It would probably have to be a PC copy, but then, you know, if your PC doesn't have the power to run the game, then you still kind of kind of get screwed over on that now, don't you? But ultimately, we don't know what exactly Google uh, plans to do if they were to discontinue Stadia. And really, that, like, that is more worrying to me than uh, knowing that, or than speculating on what it could be, because realistically, it could be anything. And I would imagine that Google really doesn't want to do the worst case scenario and be like, ah, oh, you know, this platform, we had it here. Uh, no one really bought it. At least no one bought into it as much as we wanted them to. So it's time to pull the plug. But what do we do? Eh, we don't need the games. They gave us the money. It's fine. Like, I would really hope that Google is smart enough to not do that, but, you know, I would probably be uh, surprised. So either Stadia needs to start doing better, and there's a whole heck of a lot of ways it could be doing better, especially, like, well, I don't, again, I don't own the platform, so there's definitely quite a few things that I just haven't experienced. Uh, I mean, one of the things I know is the lineup of games has pretty much stayed the same since November, so if you didn't really care for the lineup in November, why would you care about it at the end of February? Um, that's something that Google needs to improve. They need to get more games on the platform. Uh, there's all of the uh, resolution and frame rate inconsistency. Those are other, that's another thing that people are not 
super into. So if they want to make Stadia a more viable platform, and they, honest to goodness, don't want to kill it, make people mad at them who spent a whole lot of money, they're going to need to make a bunch of changes. And I just don't know how well Google is going to be able to do at making those. I don't know how much I trust them to make those intelligent decisions because ultimately they are a you know multinational multi-billion dollar corporation and they're gonna do what's gonna make them the most money and making the most money is not the same as doing what is right so I don't know, we'll just have to see what happens. So, but I think that's about all I really have to st uh, st say <laughs> about uh, Stadia. Again, don't really, I, I have not done anything with it. I wouldn't even know how to get an activation code. Um, but hopefully the people that do have it are getting some sort of good use out of it. Um, and... Ideally, Google will improve the platform for the future so that more people want to uh, see it as a viable option. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of factors in the way of doing that, not just with Stadia, but also with uh, cloud gaming as a whole. So why don't we just move on here then? <music>